Hello everyone. Uh, very good morning and good evening to all. Let us start our today's session. Okay. So if we take snowflake, okay, if we take snowflake, snowflake is, is a complete data warehouse, right? This is the complete data warehouse, right? So don't get confused with virtual warehouse and this warehouse, okay? So this complete snowflake, we'll call it as cloud data warehouse. So inside this warehouse, we will have three different layers. This is the one layer and this is the another layer. So we will have different layers here. So what are the three different layers? So here we have a storage layer, right? The, the first layer is the storage layer. So how Snowflake will store the data? This is a storage. So Snowflake will store the data. So either by AWS on, on AWS or GCP or Azure, right? On top of any one of the cloud providers. So whatever the cloud provider we are choosing. So based on that, so Snowflake will store the data. So on top of this storage layer, we have the virtual warehouse layer. So this is the virtual warehouse. This is nothing but the compute, right? So we have the compute. It's nothing but processing compute layer. So we can say it's a compute layer. So we'll process the data. So it's nothing but we we'll have a virtual warehouse. So virtual warehouse, okay? So virtual warehouse. So based on this virtual warehouse size, the data will be processed. So this is a compute layer. Okay, so whatever the operations we are performing, like DML operation, DDL operation, any operations we are performing. So based on that, this compute cost will be calculated. Okay, on top of this compute, we have cloud services. So we are the next layer is called a cloud services layer. So whatever the authentications, metadata, so everything it will be handled by this cloud services. We have seen already, so all this, right? Yes, so what we are doing now, so we have seen, okay, inside this Snowflake, so we have the Snowflake tables. So we have the tables here. So here we have the tables. So we can create multiple tables within the database, within the schema, we can create multiple tables. So by using tables only, we are storing the data. So internally, Snowflake will store data on these cloud platforms so that they will take care. But here we'll have the tables. So here we have the tables, right? So multiple tables will be available. So for this table, we have to load the data. So we can directly load the data, but here we will use some staging here, right? So whenever we are loading the data to tables, so normally how we will load so if you have any external ETL tool, external ETL tool like Informatica or any other tool, then directly connect to this particular tables, do the transformation logic here and load it. So we'll connect to the source system and load it, right? But for example, if we are getting sources from different cloud platforms, like maybe external cloud platforms, if you have external cloud platforms like AWS, so we may have AWS, right? So this, if you have data in AWS S3 or GCP GCS, okay, or Azure cloud storage, if you have, so data from these particular external platforms, these are the external platforms, right? So if you have external platforms, if I want to move the data to this snowflake, so how we will move? So from, ex this is called external stage, okay? so. So data we are getting to these platforms and we are ingesting the data to Snowflake. If we have any separate ETL tool like Informatica, IDMC, yes, we can connect to the tables directly and then we can load. But here, so what we are performing, we are using Snowflake itself and ingesting the data. Okay, so how we are doing it? So these are the external stage, right? So we'll call it as it's an external stage, external stage here. So from the external stage, we have to load it into this table so then yes it external stage will authenticate everything so from this cloud services and we will use it so but here we have the files in our local system okay so local or anywhere if you have files so here we have the data files you have some local system you have the data files here okay so this is called a data files here right so what we will do so we need to load these files from this this external place to this internal snowflake. After that, we will process the data. Okay, so after loading into the tables, we can process the data, right? So how to move it? 
So from here, we have the data in these files. And then here we have the stages. So Snowflake by default, it will have three different stages, right? So what are the three different stages? So first one is the user stages. So whenever we are creating the user, the user stage will be created, right? So whenever we are creating, we are creating the tables, the table stage will be created whenever. So this is particular about the user. So this one is particular about that particular table. Okay, if we created a table stage for one table, then if you have data, that table stage, we cannot access by another table. It is, it is very restricted to that particular table. But I want a common. Okay, so then I can go for, sorry, then third one is named stage. So we have to create our own stage. So then we can go for named stage. So here we have the stage is called named stage. So we'll create these two today and you will get clear idea. So what is that? So operation is everything is same, but only thing is, so this is partic this is restricted to that particular user. This is per restricted to that particular tables and there is no restriction for this named stage. So we have to explicitly create this named stage by ourselves. Okay. So from here, so what we will do, so this process, so whatever we have this data files, right? So we, we can have the files okay so maybe csv files xml files json files any different kinds of files we can have so from here also we can have and then we can use the command called so what is the command we'll use so we'll use external tool so because we need so as of now this snowflake will not support from here to move the data to snowflake stage so we will use one particular tool it's nothing but snow SQL, right? So we'll use no SQL. So this is called data loading. Okay? So this is called data loading here. So we will load the data from here to here by using. So what is the tool? Snow SQL. And we'll use the command called put command. Okay. So this is called from these data files to the staging we are moving. So this is nothing but put. So we are sending the data to the stage so from stage this is stage up to stage we will send so it may be user stage table stage or named stage so based on our requirement we will create the most used stages named stage okay so we will not mostly we will not filter out the record or we will not process the record while ingesting the data so ingestion part so whenever the file is available in the source system the source place just we'll ingest the data to the staging here so after that we'll move to the tables okay so after moving that so we can perform whatever the data transformation we need but here it is called bulk data load okay so whenever the file is available we will move the data so this is nothing but bulk data load okay so we will load the data whenever the data file is available so even if it is having more than 250 mb Yes, we can take this external place to the internal stage to move. We'll take this no SQL. Okay, put command, we'll use it and then move it. So after moving it, in order to load this data, so here tables, so we will use copy into, right? So what is the command here we will use? So copy into we'll use and then by using the copy into, so we will move the data to this these tables. So whatever the tables we have and we can move it. So these tables will move the data. So this is like this way, for example, so tables, we have the data, we have to send this table data to some the outside. Okay, somebody else, you have to send the data. So that is called data unloading. Okay, this is data loading, this is unloading, unloading process. If you go to any real time project, they'll be calling it as, okay, so data load, data unload process. So unload means, so from Snowflake to outside. Yes, we will send the data, right? some downstream we have to send the data we have to unload the data so for this also we'll use the copy into only okay so from here we will use the copy into the stage we'll first copy the data from these tables to the stage so if you if you are using any external iacs or any uh, informatic or any tool we are using etl tool just you can directly connect to this tables and you can create target as a flat, flat files you can send it but here we are using this this week 
this is one of the way to send the data this is called unloading data unloading process okay so from here we will use and here we are moving the data so this is called data unloading process okay so please remember this is data unloading process so how we will use similarly here we will use no sql only this command line interface we will use get command so here we will use put command so we are getting the data from this stages to our local data files okay this is nothing but get so here we will use put and here we will use get so this is the overall idea so here also again you can use this external stage and then you can from external stage or this is external stage so here if you use internal stage the storage ca cost the snowflake storage cost will be calculated here but if you use external stage the external storage this aws gcp cost will be calculated not in the snowflake side okay so compute cost is different storage cost is different data transfer cost is different so this is the overall idea about data loading data unloading okay so i hope you are clear and so this is what we are we are going to see yesterday we have seen user stage right so similar so we'll create one more user and then we'll see that how the user stage is particular to that particular user and we'll go for the the other stages as well okay so other stages operations are very similar to this particular stage and we'll see one by one okay